Hi guys, the Benny Dorm Enthusiast here. For today's video, we're going to be talking about visas. Do you need a visa to enter Spain? This is a question I've seen posted a fair few times on social media lately. As we've come into 2023, there is something called the Etias Visa Waiver, which is set to be launched later on this year. Seems people are panicking a little bit about this. There really is no need, but I want to clear some things up for you guys today by explaining exactly what it is and how it will affect you coming on your holidays. Let's start with how things are now. For third countries, as non-EU countries, which does include the UK of course, you do not need a visa for Spain for short tourist visit. A short stay is any period up to a maximum of 90 days within a rolling 180 day period. So for most holidays, those of you coming out for a week or two weeks, then no, you do not need a visa. If you wish to stay longer than your 90 days, if you're looking to move here, work here, set up a business and live here, things like that, then yes, you may well need a visa. And there are a few different types which you could be eligible to apply for. I'm not going to go into that today because it's a complex issue and I'm not a lawyer or an immigration expert. So the best advice I can give you if you are thinking of spending more time in Spain than your British passport now allows, for whatever reason, then get in touch with the Spanish Embassy in the UK. The process for applying for visas starts with them and they will be able to advise you on all your options. I've been promising to do an update on the 90 day rule for quite a while now and I haven't yet because, well, basically there is no update to give. Spain does want to see Brits to be able to stay for longer than 90 days if they wish. Of course they do. And it was in the papers late last year that they were pushing for change. But it's not up to them. Spain is still ruled by EU and Schengen rules. They can't just say, yep, we want to change the rules and do it. It doesn't work like that. Talks are ongoing in Spain and they are trying to put pressure on for a change. There's also rumours about trying to work out some sort of deal to allow seasonal workers. But at the minute it is just talks and rumours, there's nothing concrete. And unfortunately, if or when it will happen, we just don't know yet. But of course, if we get any more news on that, we will update you guys as soon as possible. So what is changing this year? And this brings me to the main point of today's video. The ETIAS Visa Waiver. What is ETIAS? ETIAS stands for European Travel Information and Authorization System. It's an electronic system that allows and keeps track of visitors from countries who do not need a visa to enter the Schengen zone. It's a bit like the system they have in the US, which serves a similar purpose. And before we get all the comments about the British not being welcome anymore since Brexit and so on, ETIAS was on the cards long before Brexit. It was announced by the European Commission in November 2016 and was implemented into legislation in September 2018. So it's been a long time coming, but this year in November it is set to finally become operational. What's it for? The intention of the system is to improve the security of EU member states within the Schengen region by capturing data on travellers that currently visit the area without a visa. The ETIAS will pre-screen travellers from third countries who are citizens from countries not needing a Schengen visa. The screening would pertain to terrorism or migration related risks. The objective is to identify individuals who pose security threats before they are able to travel to the Schengen area. More control over borders and preventing potentially dangerous or risky people from entering, I think can only be a good thing to keep us all safe. Where will you need ETIAS and who will need it? These are the European countries that will require a valid ETIAS upon arrival at their borders once it is implemented, which is set to be November this year. Austria, Belgium, Bulgaria, Croatia, Cyprus, the Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Iceland, Italy, Latvia, Liechtenstein, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malta, the Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden and Switzerland. 
ETIUS will be needed by all citizens of countries who can enter the EU zone visa free. Currently, there are 63 countries that will need to get ETIUS authorisation, including the UK. Citizens of these countries are allowed to go into countries in the Schengen zone for business or travel purposes for up to 90 days, as I spoke about earlier. During these 90 days, the visitors cannot work or study, but they can engage in business and tourism activities. And in the future, for these stays, they will need the ETIUS visa waiver. ETIUS does not permit a longer stay than 90 days. Again, as mentioned earlier, if you wish to stay for a longer period than that, then you will require a visa, and that won't change if you have ETIUS. Of course, passport holders of the EU are exempt from ETIUS. How do we apply and how much will it cost? As mentioned, the implementation of ETIUS is set to be in November of this year. You can't apply for it yet and we will let you know when the application process is open. It will be done online and they're aiming to make it a quick and simple process taking around 10 minutes. Questions will include personal data, name and date of birth, things like that, travel document info, your passport number for example, and there will also be some background questions involving education history, current occupation and previous criminal activity, things like that. Every traveller, regardless of their age, will require an approved ETIUS prior to their arrival in the Schengen area. But there will only be a charge on applications for travellers between the ages of 18 and 70. The fee will be seven euros and that will last for three years or until the date of passport or travel document expiry, whichever of those dates comes first. There is no ETIUS fee for travellers under the age of 18 or over the age of 70. Most ETIUS applicants will be notified either instantly or within a few hours of their approved authorisation. A valid ETIUS travel authorisation will be linked to the applicant's passport and it will have its own unique application number. Hope I've covered all the questions you have maybe had about this. If you have any more, stick them in the comments and I'll try my best to get you the answers. It's really nothing to worry about. If you have holidays booked after November, don't panic, don't stress yourselves out about it. We'll keep you updated on here and on our other socials about when the application process is open and how it goes. And of course, any other news on the subject. If you're not already, click that subscribe button. It costs you nothing to subscribe to our YouTube and we hope to provide with lots of useful information in our videos. Also, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok at The Benny Dorm Enthusiast. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Stay positive and stay safe.